Hey guys. <sighs> okay, so this morning I will be doing my little Devo thing, or I'm going to be sending you guys this video. I decided to do a video because who doesn't want to see all this at like in between 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 in the morning. I know I like it. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys just about something I've been learning, especially in the last couple of weeks. And just like where I've come from camp and where life has taken me, if you want to say. Um, so personally, my life is not where I thought it would be. Uh, when I left camp, I had plans and, and I was going one way and that was the only way I was going. And about four days after I got home, moved out and it hasn't been what I thought it was going to be. Um, curveballs and fastballs and literally any baseball reference and football reference have been thrown at my face. Uh, especially in the last two weeks, people in my family have been getting sick, like my job is not at all what I thought it was going to be, like I've got stupid allergies, like uh, I've just been thrown things that I didn't know I was going to be thrown, and I hope I'm handling it well, and in and amidst like literally all of this, I've forgotten, or I not have, had forgotten, that this is literally part of God's plan, like me waking up at a stupid hour to brush dog's hair for eight hours a day is God's plan. I'm like, dang, that's so true. I had to like, especially in the last couple of days, I've like taken a step back from where life is and just be like, alright, this is normal. God's gonna use all of this. I'm only 19, like, I have ways to go. Um, so you guys, like, you might not be exactly where you wanted to be when you guys left camp. Like, I know I'll always leave summer with a plan and be like, I'm gonna be like on fire for God and I'm gonna like get into my church and get involved in like everything, right? Like you guys have these plans. You're just like, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna be on this sports team and like try to be a better person or you know, I'm gonna treat my family better and all these things. Like I've done it all and thought of it all. But honestly, some of you guys might not be where you thought you were gonna be. And that's so normal. And I literally go through that every summer. And this is like, like five or six summers. Every fall, I go through that process of like, okay, not what I was thinking, but that's okay. Um, but I guys, I hope you remember it. Like anything you're going through, whether it be hard, easy, weird, strange, like unexpected, like God's using it all, and He's using these moments, and He's using whatever He's putting you through, like whatever you're going through. I don't know whether it be like school's really hard or like. I don't know, anything, like, sports are hard, or friends are being dramatic because there's all this drama, or, you know, you're struggling with things, like, or your family's struggling with things, like, God's literally using every single moment, and you're gonna, like, maybe look back in, like, even a year, two years, five years, and you'll be like, dang, like, fall of 2017 was one where I grew. Um, so I just have a couple verses, because I really like the Bible, and... It's actually really cool for me to read these because I haven't read them in a while and just be reminded. So I hope these like make sense or like that I'm not taking them out of context. Um, I'm going to start in James because it's freaking great. If you guys haven't read James, I really encourage it. James 1, 2, 4 says, uh, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance is a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you'll be perfect and complete, needing no nothing. Also, I'm reading NLT, just so you guys know. Um, and James 1 verse 12 says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Um, and in my little, like, side, I got like, these little side notes, like, get through the hardships, it'll be worth it. And I think that's, like, what I have had to be reminding myself. Um... I hope you guys can be reminding yourself. It's like, okay, this is so worth it. Um, like, in the end, like, any issues, like, you're going closer to God because you're learning to, like, put all your strength and all your uh, reliance on Him, if you want to say. Like, you're relying on Him so much more. And it's really awesome. Uh, um, and then Philippians 4, verse 8. That's Second Chronicles. Um, says... I can find it. Um, 
Nope, let's not use that. That's not right. Scratch that. Don't look at Philippians 4 8. No. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. So, back to James. Um, James 4 verse 14 says. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here for a little while, then it's gone. And like, that sounds really depressing. And like, oh my gosh, like, why is there any point in living? Or why is there any point in, like, trying in this world? Because I'm literally like, a fog or a mist. Um, when I was doing life last year, we were told, like, we are mere mists. And, like, that has stuck with me for so long. Um... It just reminds me that I can't plan life because I literally don't know where it's going. Um, and that God's got, like, a plan for this life and, like, this mist that I am. Um, and it's just another reminder, like, it's all worth it. I don't know if you've ever seen um, the Francis Chan illustration of the rope. It's, like, that little piece of red end and, like, long rest, like, let's just say brown. And it's, like, your life is the red and eternity is the rest of the rope. And it's like, you can either have eternity in heaven, heaven, or you can have eternity in hell. And, like, that is insane because, like, that little tiny bit of rope literally just, like, tells this rest where it's going. And it's, like, so worth it. This little tiny piece is so worth it. If that makes sense. I really hope this makes sense. And to close it off. Nope. Um, yes, so guys, just remember that. God's got a plan for all these hardships and all these things, and I'm personally constantly, every day, having to tell myself that. And I want you guys to know I'm praying for you. If you guys have anything you want prayer for, or I still have, I don't know, a phone. I have a phone if you guys want. Um, Facebook me, any like way to get to me, I'm going to try and reply. And I just hope you guys remember that like anything you're going through is so worth it, and like the kingdom of God. And just remember, like, be bold, and like just remember what it's like at camp, that like spiritual high, like... Keep working on it because it's so worth it to like be someone different and like be a different person. You guys are great. And that's all I have. I hope it's not too long. Peace.